All right, today what we're going to end up doing is we're going to post an image to Twitter. So in previous videos, <clears throat> I showed you how to post to Twitter, but I got asked if I can show you how to post an image to Twitter. So just to kind of give you a quick overview of where we're at in the story, uh, <clears throat> I redid my old Twitter posting. Um, I just put it in a function up here. Um, just to show for the connections and I do have these consumer keys and they're actually reading from additional file if you want to know how I did that or know more information um, I put the video right here so you can actually see the video and see how we can hide our passwords in a Jupyter notebook that way we're just not sharing the passwords out there so if you want to know more how to do that you can read that video uh, down here this client, this Twit connection creds, that's just calling this function up here, which does the authentication. And then down here, this was your standard post that we went over before where it says message equal, this is the function test. And then response, it equals client that create treat text message. So that message right there is going to go to Twitter. And that's where we're at in the story. So this right here is the way that the Twitter version 2 or X version 2 API works. Um, from what I read, the version 2, it doesn't let you post an image. So we have to kind of use version 1 and version 2 together to post an image to Twitter using Python. And I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so the first thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to build another connection. So I'm just going to take this right up here, and I'm going to create another function down here. So this is going to be my Twit connection, and I'm just going to do version 1 up here because this is going to be using the version 1. And again, we're still going to pass in creds through here. So going down here, we have define keys. Um, these are the ones that are hidden. Again, you can see the video down there if you want to know how I um, hide the um, keys. So since we're using the old method to authenticate, um, we're going to do the authorization. And we're going to use Treepy. And then we're going to do the... Um, authorization Let's see, user handler and then we're going to pass in the consumer key and the consumer secret then we're going to add to the authorization set and we're going to have that access our token and then we're going to pass in our access token and then our access secret and then we're going to have to return the Tweepy API, and we're going to turn the authorization to that. <clears throat> that way, we can set there, and um, once this is called, so we pass our creds in here. I got to create a new um, cred one two for this version one, but. What it's going to end up doing, it will go through here, read our consumer keys, our consumer secrets, and it probably would help if I spell secret right. So let me just fix secret right here. And then uh, once it's going down, it's going to return the authentication. So down here, what we're going to end up doing is I'm going to 
keep the creds right here where it says client with the Twit connection creds. We're going to do this again, but this time what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to name this version one. So what's going to happen is we're going to read in the creds. The creds are going to go in the client, which is the Twit connection. And then that's going to go up here to Twit connection and then run this to get the version um, to authentication down here with the Twit connection underscore version one um, client version one and then we're going to do version one here and that way it's going to pass the creds again but it's going to pass it to this function right here so this is how we do the authentication so after both of those are authenticated you know we should be good to go so down here I'll put down this is a function test um, for version one um, posting right so now here what we're going to do is we're going to upload a um, file in here so what I'm going to end up having to do is I'm going to do my media equals R and then put my quotes there and then I'm just going to go over here like really quick I'm going to upload this picture and I'll go down to properties and then I see it right here the C drive and I'm going to cancel that go down here where my media is and I'm just going to post that in there and then the file name was Fargo.jpg, so it's going to be Fargo.jpg. Um, <clears throat> so what this is going to end up going to do, that's going to let me read in that media um, to that variable right there. All right, so now that that's read in, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to make a media and then we're going to call the client version one that we we created and we're going to have to upload this file and this is going to be file name equals my media right so now that that has my media we'll have it in there and what I'm going to end up doing really quick is I'm just going to end up going to Twitter right up here and go to my profile and we don't see anything up here for any post so I'm gonna start running this like right now I'm just gonna ship dinner ship dinner and then I'm gonna ship dinner my creds my connections and then I'm gonna Shift enter the um, <clears throat> function test for version one. So now, if we go back to right here, just to show you, and I hit um, refresh up here, this is a function test for version one posting. So we know that that part works so far. So down here, what I want to show you now is on my media, when we hit enter here and then enter here. This right here is going to upload that file temporarily. And <clears throat> we're going to end up grabbing the um, media ID off of this. So what we're going to end up doing is if we do media dot media underscore ID and we run that, that's the media ID number, right? So we're going to make that into a variable. So we're going to make media underscore ID equals media dot media ID. <clears throat> and we're just going to run that. So now we're ready. Now we can go into the regular way we do things, right? So we can set there, and I'm just going to copy this right here, this response here. And I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to do this right here. I'm going to copy both of these. And I'm going to change this message. So this is a test for version 2 posting with photo. 
and then response where we have text equals message. Now we need to tell it to go media underscore ID. And since this is really, we can actually do an array, we're just going to keep that in the brackets right there. Because technically we can add more photos um, to that on the upload. <clears throat> so last thing we do, we just run this. And I have a um, error in that. So client dot create underscore tweet text equals message. Oh, okay. I got it. <clears throat> um, I forgot to add media IDs equals media ID. Okay, so now we run that and we're done. I'm talking about we posted an image to um Twitter or X or whatever you want to call it. So we just hit enter here just to refresh it. And then there you go. This is a function test for version two posting with photo. So we have it all in there. So posting with a video is just easy as that.